Hi parents, hi boys and girls, welcome back. Noel here, your coach, and I'm gonna be talking to you about the commutative property of addition. So let's go ahead and let's get started, okay? So again, what we're talking about is the commutative property of addition. And don't worry, boys and girls, I know that sounds like a really, really big word. Commutative property of addition. But don't worry, let's go ahead and take a look at this piece right here, okay? So here we have, how many black boxes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. How many red boxes do we have? Let's go ahead and count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Awesome. Now, let's see how many boxes we have in all. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, awesome. So let's go back and let's just count the black boxes again. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 black boxes. Plus, how many red boxes do we have? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four. And 10 plus 4 equals what? Let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 10 plus 4 equals 14. Now let's take a look at this next piece here. How many red boxes do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many black boxes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. How many boxes do we have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen boxes. Awesome. So let's go back. How many red boxes do we have? One, two, three, four. So here I'm going to write 4 plus. How many black boxes do we have? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 10 boxes. Equals. How many boxes do I have in all? Let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got 14 boxes. Awesome, boys and girls. And now I want you to do this, okay? Here's the commutative property of addition. It means that if we switch the numbers around, you're going to get the same answer, okay? So this is really 10 plus 4 equals 4 plus 10. And let me step away. So again, 10 plus 4 equals 4 plus 10. Awesome, boys and girls. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next problem. Let's count the black boxes together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 black boxes. Plus, how many red boxes do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got 5 black boxes equals... How many do I have all together when I put them together? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got 13 boxes. Now let's look at this piece here. How many red boxes do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus, how many black boxes do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 equals. How many boxes do I have all together right here? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here we go again, boys and girls. Look, if I just switch the numbers, one going this way and the other going this way, we still get the same number, and that's the commutative property. So, this means 8 plus 
5 equals 5 plus 8. And that's pretty much it, boys and girls. Was that pretty easy or what? Of course it was easy because you're so smart. And I want to thank you and I want to thank your parents again for watching this video. And children, you're doing an outstanding job. I'm going to give you a big old hand. So until the next time, we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.